beautiful day here in the Pacific Northwest and I'm making my first pumpkin growing video. I have a couple questions regarding some fertilizers and things like that. I thought a video would be a good way to start and um, just try to hammer out these questions and concerns that I may have. Um, it's just really nice to see this weather after we've had a little bit of some cold rainy weather these last few days and I'm hoping that my pumpkins start to take off again as they were before. So let me go show you what I have going on and maybe I can get some answers from you guys. Alright so I like to start off by uh, apologizing for the background noise. We live right next to a busy road so you're gonna probably hear some tr some cars and maybe some big trucks. Um, but let's get started here. So I like to start off by saying also that I am growing two of my plants in 20 gallon smart pots that I filled 50% with compost, 50% with a pro mix, has some perlite in there, and I also gave it, um, you know, good sprinkling of a 5-10-10 fertilizer and, um, in the beginning, and then I've been wat watering um, with a liquid fish fertilizer. Um, this is my uh, Captain Jack and I've never grown a Captain Jack. Um, this is actually only my second year growing pumpkins um, and the leaves may look a little droopy to you but I assure you that it's because I confused the pumpkin. So I thought because I'm growing these in these aeration containers that I um, could just train the pumpkins by rotating the pot um, and this one as you can see it it really began to run and it's got a ton of tendrils and so I rotated the the um, container about 45 degrees um, and directed it towards the area that I wanted the vine to grow in it and I think I just really confused um, this leaf because it was sitting up and, and now it's kind of trying to grow this way so I decided I wasn't gonna try to um, train the vines that way I'm just gonna go ahead with the the good old steak um, I'm sorry I'm shaking it's just kind of cold it's like 55 degrees out here and then this is my oops this is my Cinderella pumpkin and um, she doesn't have any tendrils at all and I don't know if it's just it's an heirloom variety maybe it's a slower growing um, variety but other than that I mean it looks pretty healthy and I haven't um, this one hasn't started to run at all so but I do see um, maybe like a little male flower there and as you can tell I am also using um, some shredded newspaper for my mulch so if anybody can tell me um, why maybe one pumpkin is t has tendrils and the other has none uh, that would be great and um, this was due we had a very extremely rainy and cold May and they got way too much water and um, and so yeah I've held back on the watering for now so and as you can see this pumpkin this leaf or vine um it got confused as well it was sitting up this way and i rotated the container and now it's growing a different way so it looks like they look like they are um um i don't know like sagging leaves but they're really not they aren't at all so um, let me show you some first. So here's where I keep all my good stuff. Um, sorry for the disorganization. I'm not a very organized person. Um, so let me go here and show you what I've got. Um, first of all, I've used these on my tomatoes. Um, so I guess that doesn't really matter. But I've been using this, and um, and then I switched to this. But let me know if 
you see a difference. I mean, this is pretty low. Um, and I was a little bit concerned about using this all season just due to, to the um, overpowering nitrogen levels in it. But let me know if you think this is okay to use all season for um, pumpkin watering and things like that. I bought this um, because I thought the yellowing on the plants may have been due to a nutrient deficiency and then I read up on it and um, I really don't know how to use this so I haven't touched it but um, if you can tell me um, how to use a product like this maybe I can maybe I Mom. will have avoided throwing away um, $17 of my money so um, all right so um, this was the the fertilizer that I used on all my plants actually at the beginning at planting time when I was mixing up the containers um, it's probably been about a month so I don't know when um, you know it says every six weeks but I know pumpkins are heavy feeders so let me know if maybe I can go a little extra on those get those leaves to be looking a little bigger I also use this it's like a 448 I believe um, and that's pretty stink stinky stuff. Every time I pick it up, it just, I can smell it. Um, I've been using this on my petunia out front and, um, and also my marigolds. And then I did some research. I'm kind of learning as I go here. So, um, I did sort of like a foliar spray on my leaves, um, when it was raining a whole bunch and um, I know it's kind of a controversial like maybe um, an old wives tale so if you've had good experience or bad experience with an Epsom salt uh, foliar spray let me know because um, I can't really seem to find a solid answer on that um, I've been using this inside my containers as well and then um, I've been using these for um, for planting time and trying to help like the root establishment and things like that. So um, yeah, I think that's about. Oh, this is lawn seed. Um, but I bought this like two years ago, and I don't know why. Um, I, actually, I don't even really remember buying it, but I'm assuming I did. And um, I did have to plant one other Cinderella pumpkin in the ground. It's a little bit behind the other ones. But I decided to do an experiment and um, I used this chemical. I opened it for the first time and then I'm using this chemical fertilizer on that particular Cinderella pumpkin. I'll show you here in a second what that one looks like. Um, but uh, I'm going to do a little experiment and see what... Um, what the difference is between using these kind of organic fertilizers versus this chemical fertilizer. So we shall see how that plays out. Um, let me actually go show you that plant really quick. It's nothing really to marvel at, but might as well add it to the video. Okay, so this is the Cinderella pumpkin. I have this wire cage around it because it's sort of in a, in a walking kind of path. My kids might trample over this one. So I just have a cage over it till it gets a little bit more noticeable but um yeah I transplanted this one maybe a week ago and um it's done pretty well so I put the again the chemical fertilizer on this one and I'm gonna see um how it does so no questions on that guy and um again thank you for watching and I hope you can answer some of my questions um, as you know, I'm just not really, really an experienced farmer or anything like that. So thank you.